yes. I'm a dad now. You have to let me make these jokes. ISS is about tensions that are flaring in the near future aboard the International Space Station as a conflict breaks out on Earth. The U.S. and Russian astronauts receive orders from the ground. Take control of the station by any means necessary. When I go to see a January movie, there's kind of three expectations that I have. It could potentially be one of the worst movies ever made. It could also be a surprisingly great movie, which has happened many times over the past few years. I think a lot of people in Hollywood have begun to realize that we don't necessarily expect anything out of January, and so they're using that against us. <laughs> but it could also be a certain kind of January movie that I get excited about. Like, last week I saw The Beekeeper with Jason Statham, and I found that movie incredibly silly and very dumb, and yet exceedingly entertaining. I wouldn't call ISS dumb, and I wouldn't call it silly, but what it is is it feels kind of like this nice, breezy thriller that you can go to a theater and watch, and it's not going to affect you too deeply either way. You're kind of going to feel like, well, you know what? That wasn't a waste of time. I actually rather enjoyed most of that, and it felt like it had something to offer, but it's not a movie that I'm necessarily going to reference at the end of the year for any specific reason. For me, that movie last January was Plain with Gerard Butler. Those are the kind of January movies I get the most excited about, actually. Not awful, not great, but a totally acceptable time at the movie theaters, and usually it's an action movie or a thriller. And it does feel strangely feasible. I'm sure there are astronauts who will watch this movie and be like, nope, 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 that doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense. The majority of people who were in my theater were not astronauts. What does seem feasible about it is the tensions that erupt, because when you have a very brief and not terribly detailed message that's sent to you in the form of an order, that's a springboard for paranoia. And paranoid thrillers, especially ones in tight, claustrophobic spaces, are some of my favorite kinds of movies. So ISS has that going for it already. Also, it's in space, and I love movies that take place in space. This movie wins a lot of points for me before I even sit down in the theater. And all the cast is very good, Ariana DeBose as the lead. I had a second one I didn't realize that John Gallagher Jr. was in the movie because I'm so used to him having a beard, but he's clean shaven here. There are two aspects of the movie, though, that I want to discuss, and that is our protagonist. The movie takes a real effort to make sure that we know nothing about her. In fact, when she arrives on board the ISS, they show her how the gear works, especially one place where they say she can contact her loved ones if she wants to leave a message. And they say something along the lines of, is there anyone you want to talk to? And she says no. So they make sure we know early on that she has no contacts at home, nobody to care about, nobody to worry about, and nobody's caring or worrying about her. So in that way, she kind of gets cut off from us emotionally, and the film makes an effort to let us know very little about her. And so as a protagonist, she wasn't terribly interesting. It's not that Ariana DeBose is bad in the movie. In fact, she's very good. But on the page, there seems to be an effort to keep us away from that emotion. This is also clearly a very challenging production in that most of the movie Everyone is floating in zero gravity, and so more than likely these actors were on wires and harnesses for a large majority of the filming, which I can imagine was extremely difficult, especially from a directing standpoint. Setting up shots and feeling like you can compose a movie is really hard when everyone is just kind of floating around. And the camera work feels floaty as well. A lot of it felt like it was on an easy rig or handheld in some way, and so there wasn't a lot of structure to the way the movie looked, and naturally I tend to like movies that look a little more composed. But what this movie did for me was present a concept that seems real enough, actors that are fully invested in it, and a lot of tension throughout the movie as these people raised in two different countries begin to react to what they're seeing on the planet down below. And there's a lot of fear-inspiring imagery of Earth as bombs explode, and seeing it from space gave a different perspective to war and what it would look like from above. ISS is a modestly good time at the theaters, and certainly compared to other January movies, it's better than most. The cast is good, it has a lot of tension, the plot did a lot for me. It's just that the protagonist was lacking, I thought, on the page, and the camera work was just a bit too floaty for my taste. I think it was trying to match the fact that the actors are also floating, but to me it just kind of felt like we need to get the shot, we don't have a lot of time. Can't say if that's true, but this filmmaker is extremely talented. She made the excellent documentary Blackfish. She made Megan Levy, which I really liked, and I'm excited to see what else she does next. Guys, thank you so much, as always, for watching. Look forward to more videos very soon, and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.